Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. In my previous video, I show you an unboxing of my Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro and I gave you some overview on the technical specifications and the overall look and the feel. And personally, I am very happy with the build quality and all. But in this video, I will not show you anymore the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. You can check out my previous video. I'll put the link down below so that you can see the review. Now, today, I'll be showing you how to convert your Windows 10 64-bit home Chinese to English legally. Now, I was able to successfully convert it from Chinese to English, and I hope this will work for you as well. Now, in this tutorial, tutorial we will work with the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. But before we start on the conversion, let me just show you my specifications. Uh, this is the Intel Core i5-8250. CPU on 1.6 gigahertz. It has comes with 8 gigabits of RAM, and it's a 64 64 bit operating system. Okay, and as you can see, it's a Windows 10 Home version 1709. This is the latest build, of currently up to date by Windows, the full creators update. So I was able to update it uh, to this version successfully. And th the most important thing I want to show you is the activation. Okay, see if Windows is activated. Now, as you can see, my Windows 10 Home is activated. Windows is activated with, with a digital license. So, that's good news. You don't have to pay extra money to convert your Chinese Windows to English Windows. More importantly, you get to maximize the use of your laptop. Okay, so that's it. That's the very basic one. Now, before we begin, I want to give you some things to prepare it beforehand number one you need to have an eight gigabyte at least eight gigabyte usb flash drive okay we have to download the windows 10 home 64-bit installer from the website and we can also download the me notebook drivers i'll put i'll show you later one and another optional is to extract your original product key now step one the easiest one Okay, how do you extract the product key of your device? Now, what you can do is you go to your start menu and you type in CMD, command prompt, right click, run as administrator. Okay, click on that and this one will pop up. Okay, so I want you to take a look at this one. You have to type in all this path so that you can, af after you press enter, it will show you your product key. Now, I suggest you keep that product key uh, somewhere safe. Uh, you, in my own opinion, you don't need to input that key in in your laptop when you install the Windows. But still, it's a good way to keep it up, keep 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 it away in a safe place for you. it's your own personal unique number. I will not enter it here, so because it's it's my key, I will not show it to you. All right, so let's close it up. All right. So for next next step is to go to the Windows download ISO software. Okay, you can go to this link. Uh, by the way, I'll put all the links down in the description below, so you can check it out. Check it out. Okay, so you can go to the Microsoft website and download the Windows Fall Creators Update ISO. Now, what you can do is you download this particular tool. Download tool. Okay, this will enable you to uh, download the ISO file and the software will also let you create the USB wherein you will use it to boot your file. Now, I will give you a, a preview on how to do this. Uh, it's very easy. So again, you have to download the media tool. Okay, uh, you might need to navigate if you're using the Windows Chinese version, you might have to navigate using the, the the Chinese version one, but you can use you can also do this in another computer. So you can get uh, your own desktop and you can do it in your other computer. Okay, so you go to downloads and you run this file media creation tool. Okay, media creation tool. Okay, you can run as administrator. Let it run. Okay. So the file will try to get a few things ready. You would try to check your Windows, if you're compatible for one, or you would check 
your 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 your, your architecture it's a 64 bit 32 bit now just a reminder if you're planning to install a 64 bit ISO make sure you create the media from a 64 bit computer now why you don't want to go to 32 bit it's an old architecture go 64 bit okay so just a brief overview just accept the user, user terms okay so it's getting a few things ready okay so it has a selection you select the second one create installation media USB flash drive DVD ISO file now if you're using the Chinese Windows just select the second one it should be the same go next so here is the most important thing now you might have to change change your language to English and you have to change your edition to 10 okay now for some of you you might get a drop down box of uh, Windows uh, single language Windows Pro Windows Home make sure to select at least Windows Home or, or Windows 10 uh, home okay do not select the single language okay so click on next okay you will be you will be given a a option to install the windows 10 on a, uh, to, uh, or at least download the, ins the installation file to a usb flash drive or create an iso file now what you can do is just plug in the usb file usb drive the 8 gigabyte at least 8 gigabyte usb flash drive and just click next okay so for now we don't have a usb thumb drive prepared but if you do just click next okay now what will that do is just keep the the, the USB thumb drive in your laptop okay and w make sure you have internet connection let it finish all the downloads and let it all finish the, the process okay so that's the that's the one of the easy part now another option okay so let me just close it up this is uh, it's easy, easy just uh, let it make sure you let it finish what it's doing okay now when you're when you're done you should be able to find uh, your USB drive with the bootable Windows 10 installation file inside okay now another option is you can go to this website I found this website while I was searching for my Mi Notebook Pro the drivers uh, because I can understand understand Chinese and maybe this website can 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 have give you give you some idea on the reviews on this notebook and some of the features and there's an important thing here that you can check out it's a download portion you can click the download portion okay and right down here there's the drivers that you see that you need okay now Personally, I did not use this driver because Windows update ev ev all my drivers automatically. So, but if you want to download all these drivers, you can do so. You can use this if you don't have an internet connection and you can uh, at least have something to do. Okay. All right. So I already downloaded it. So the, the file is a bit big. Okay. It's about... 962 MB so I just left it leave, leave it there okay so there you have it now the next thing you have to do is once your USB is ready you have to reboot your laptop okay I'll show that in the next video so if you're interested check out the next part of this video and we'll, we will reboot and record the BIOS and I'll teach you how to try to configure your BIOS system and how to reinstall or at least boot from your USB drive okay so give us a, give us a thumbs up a like or a subscribe and stay tuned for the and click the next video to, to, to find out uh, how to boot from your USB okay so thank you very much and see you on the next video